Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. We're live. Sorry we weren't live when I wanted to be, but there was a little bit of late information coming in. There was some rumour that Manchester United were about to announce Aaron Wan-Bissaka. This is not the case. Had to check it out. Would not have liked to have gone live and said it was the case when it wasn't. So we're going to be talking about the uh, official bids for Issa Diop from West Ham. There's talk of Tillemans today, which we've got some updates for. And also Paul Pogba, just in the last few minutes, Sky sort of giving a few updates on Pogba. And the situation with Pogba seems to be that Manchester United do not want to sell Paul Pogba. This has been going on all day. It was hinted at yesterday. United see Pogba as part of their plans. They will not sell Paul Pogba. Now, many United fans are probably like me and feel that that is a big mistake. That um, yeah. The Juventus can't, um, they see that is a little bit frustrating because we're on a new phone and it shouldn't be doing that. It should be working absolutely perfect. Let me have a quick scan over here. I don't, I don't want this to uh, happen. I want it to work perfectly. Um, let me have a quick look why that might be. Let me try that, knocking that off and that might make it a little bit better. Um, lag bridge. You can't do anything about it when you're live. It's a little bit, bit, a bit of a problem sometimes. Um, what phone are you using, Mark? I'm using a Samsung. So, yeah, it's, it was breaking up a little bit at the start. Apologies for that. It's a diop because this was something from Sky at the weekend as well. They were saying that, oh, you know, a little bit of information that Manchester United had bid for is a diop from West Ham. 22 years of age, six foot four. Now, this is well, which Manchester United would skip over into here. I'm actually so. Oh, well, that explains quite a lot. That explains quite a lot. Right, I'm going to sit here because I'm right next to the Wi-Fi now. Can you turn that off for me, please? Go into the kitchen, thanks. Right, we're back live again now and um, having to use the bloody Wi-Fi sat right next to it. Um, we're breaking bridge. Goldbridge face is beautiful. Thank you. Right, let's see if we can get this show up and running live right next to the bloody Wi-Fi now. Um, OK, so we were talking about Issa Diop there, an official bid from Manchester United. This is why I don't like to do the laid back stuff and I'd much rather do it in front of the bloody green screen. Um, so with Manchester United official bid for Issa Diop, this is coming in from Telefoot and Get French Football News. And look, an official bid for him. There's a lot of confusion with Manchester United at the moment, isn't there? And that's what I would say. There is a lot of confusion with United because... We're in for Harry Maguire, who's a priority, but then we're bidding for Issa Diop. We're in for Aaron wan but then Cancelo is an, is, is an intriguing thing as part of the Pogba deal. So it's... Look, there's a lot of confusion and that leads to frustration and I understand that. But I think that with Issa Diop, he's a very interesting signing. And I sort of dismissed it like many United fans did at the weekend because it's like, well, where's that come from? It doesn't make any sense. But you know what? He's a very interesting footballer. There is apparently interesting interest from PSG. I mean, PSG just seems to be interested in everybody and Juventus. And apparently he's about to get called up by the French national squad. Now, he is happy at West Ham, but uh, would be interested in playing for Manchester United, which I think is what a lot of people would say. He um, he is six foot four. He is only just 22. He's quack. He's quack. He's quack. He loves ducks. He's quick. He's athletic. And he would be a very interesting signing for Manchester United. I think the problem with Diop is there is a bit of a belligerence, a bit of stubbornness, a bit of apathy because we thought we were getting Koulibaly, then we thought we were going to get Delit, and now we're sort of looking at maybe, you know, Maguire and now we're looking at Diop and it's sort of in the in the in the realms of sort of status signings, it's a little bit of a drop off, isn't it? So but actually when you look at the player, does he fit the profile of what United are looking for? A player who's at a club with age on their side, ability, growth on their side. And he does. He fits into that category. So I think that it's interesting with the up. And I would be intrigued as if this does materialise into anything realistic. Because you know what? Sky Sports have had a lot of stick and they've been very, very inaccurate. inaccurate. But if we did sign Longstaff and Diop, I would have to say they've been right three times because they were right about Daniel James as well. And as David said, he's a tall lad that we need. He also has got Premier League experience as Dave Hayes. I think the thing that's interesting about him is that he's probably not as old as I thought we would go for. But then De Ligt's 19 and he's three years older than him. He's older than Ruben Diaz as well. So actually, he ticks a lot of the boxes for United. I just think there is a little bit of, meh, we don't really want to make that signing. So let's see what happens with that. 
I think he's growing on me. I think it's growing on me. I think, at the, and that's why I'm wearing the claret. Cut up, up the hammers, forever blowing bubbles. Not the monkey, but yeah, we'll I'm intrigued to see how that one will go. Um, some people in the live comments are saying that there's been a fifty million pound bid rejected for Wan Bissaka. If that's rejected, I, I wonder where United go from there with that. I do wonder where we go from that because I like the look of Wan Bissaka. I'm sure they sat here in the first place because the lighting's better. I like the look of Wan Bissaka. Oh, it's much better now. I like the look of Wan Bissaka, but anything more than 50 million is is not good enough, is it? It is. Oh, look at the lighting now. Oh, you know what? Sometimes, but no, it, it is too much. It is too much, and uh, they want 70 million. Says Lawrence Hogg. Well, that's it. You're at. I'm out. I'm out. There's a lad at uh, PSV uh, called Dumfries who would be an interesting player. Um, exactly, which is what the FDV uh, has just said. So yeah, I think I think if if they're rejecting fifty million, we, you've got to move away from that. I think the going rate for someone like Wan Bissaka, if we're a little bit generous, is fifty million. If they've said no to that, then it's got to be a, a big fat no from me. I think with regards to Diop, it's interesting. But let's talk about Yuri Tillemans for a moment. Yuri Tillemans, very very interesting. Um, I like him a lot. I like him a lot. Just twenty two in May, Premier League proven goals, creativity, tenacity, speed. Tick 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 tick. The latest from HLE in England, uh, who is a very good source for Belgium things, he said today that, um, not chocolate, I mean football, football things, Belgian football things. He said that the official bid is from Leicester, but United have been in contact with his agent, but haven't made a bid yet. And there is a feeling that United are interested in Tillemans, but only if Pogba goes. Well, this is where United need to just bite the bullet and go, look, if Pogba stays and we've got Tillemans, so what? If Pogba goes and we get Tillemans, he's a good replacement amongst others, but don't snooze on this deal. Leicester are apparently in pole position. They feel that they're going to get him. Welcome Simon Rapper, the latest member of the United Stand Members Club. Um, so, yeah, look, I think that we should um, be moving plus BBC... Have confirmed United have made a bid for Sancho and are confident of signing Mark. Check it out, Zane. Zane, do you think I fell off the late the, the Christmas tree that's not even up in the corner? Absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Welcome, Robert Dus Romus, the new member. Thank you very much. So, yeah, I, I would like United to move for Tillemans. I think he has hinted that he wants a better club than Leicester. And I think United need to stop snoozing on deals like this. It's a deal that there can be done. And I think we're desperate to keep Paul Pogba, but Paul Pogba clearly wants to go. Go and get Yuri Tillemans. It's as simple as that. I think he has everything we need. And yet again, he's 22. He's got many years left in his career. He's got many, many uh, miles left in the tank. And I think he would be a good signing for Manchester United. So I would be a pro person to go and get that, but less they're very, 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 very adamant that they want to get that deal and they feel that they're favourites to do it. Anup Ayapan says, we United fans not from England need United fans' outputs in England like United stand to start a campaign. If we don't sign quality players, we will support online, but you guys have reach. We need to act. Well, it's too early. It's too early for all that, to be honest. You know, let's see what United do in the transfer market. Um, Solskjaer said in his press conference before the season ended that Pogba is determined to succeed at United next season. A poor, of course, people are going to believe that, says Jason Adams. I'm, I'm, my personal opinion with Paul Pogba is that he's got to go. He's got to go now. Um, he's said that he wants to go, so I think he's got to go. That's where I would stand on that. Um, Jao Felix is apparently going to Atletico Madrid. Remember, I'd spoken about that on a few transfer shows before. I never felt that he was a target for Manchester United. I think it was just paper talk using us. I really didn't think we're in for Jao Felix. And obviously, Atletico Madrid have got £100 million from Griezmann, which they can instantly pay for Jao Felix's release clause. And I think they're exactly the same position. They're both false nines. So it'd be a good signing for them. But I never felt he was coming to United. And Philip Coutinho is apparently ruled out coming to Manchester United out of respect for Liverpool. Good. I don't bloody want you, you shit bag. I really didn't want Coutinho at Manchester United. So I'm really pleased that he's ruled it out. And I hope Rakitic rules out coming to United as well, because I don't want him either. Um, Manchester United are sure Pogba will be at United next season, says Oli. Well, Manchester United can force Paul Pogba to stay at United. He's got three years left on his contract. But the bottom line with that is, do how, is that is that what we've become? A club that keep forces people to stay that don't want to be here? I thought we were Manchester United, not bloody Oldham Athletic. You know, we've got to act like a big club. And when somebody says they don't... You know, Pogba talks about a new challenge. The challenge we've got in front of us is the newest and toughest challenge 
in football. Get Manchester United back on top, having finished sixth and getting in the Emmerdale Cup. And I know that was in front of him three years ago and it's not gone the way he wanted to, but there's no challenge bigger than the challenge United have got. At the start of the season, the challenge was very different. The challenge last season was that we'd finish second under Mourinho and we were going to go and try and win the title this year, last season, and we finished sixth. There's a massive challenge there. Sports Story said, would you swap Pogba for Mounier and Verratti? Yes, but I don't think PSG are even in for Pogba, are they? Uh, Mark, did you uh, read the news about Bruno Fernandes and a £40 million bid from Liverpool? Oh, I think it's total nonsense. It's, it's, it's too low. It's too low. Uh, no news on De Gea other than I think De Gea will stay. I've been saying that for a while. I, I knew Pogba wanted to go. Um, whether he will go or not, I don't know. I think he should do. I think Pogba will stay. I don't think United will lose Pogba and De Gea. But Issa Diop is a beast, says Wadonski. And I think that's a very interesting signing for Manchester United, Issa Diop. If this materialises, I'm actually starting to get a little bit more excited about it because Harry Maguire is 26 and very expensive. Um, Issa Diop is quicker, taller and more has got more development in him to be a top-class centre-back. And he's Premier League proven and he'll be cheaper. So I'm starting to think, as I'd be happy with Harry Maguire, but I'm actually starting to think I wouldn't mind us signing Issa Diop. I really wouldn't. Please do smash a like on the video, everybody. Um, it's more of a laid-back video, but we had problems at the start, so I'm glad that we've uh, recovered it. And hopefully, this is a brand new phone. This is why I tested it today. Um, it started off a bit shit, but hopefully the picture looks very, very good now. So so hopefully that is the case. So please do smash a like on the video. Um, there is talk of uh, a rejection on a Wan-Bissaka deal, which is um, intriguing at best. Um, I think it becomes... What's your opinion on that? At some point, it gets to a point where you've got to uh, withdraw from the Wan-Bissaka uh, deal, I feel. And I'd be interested to see if Manchester United do do that. Um, too much money. Too much money... We haven't got an infinite amount of money at Manchester United. We know that our owners are quite tight. So I think that um, Samsung 10, I think that with Manchester United, um, you've either got to pay the money or not. A lot of people talking about different things. I think what 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 makes me laugh about United and wan is we heard this morning that they're going to have another day of negotiations, right? And my sympathy is with Crystal Palace. He is worth £50 million. United might not want to pay that, but stop negotiating and walk away. If you're not going to pay 50 million quid, walk away because he is worth 50 million pounds. That's the going rate for wan And I do agree with that. So pay 50 million pounds or walk away from the deal. That's It's as simple as that, surely. So I, I agree with them in that. If they reject 50 million, I think we do walk away because how much do they want? He's had one decent season in the Premier League. He's not an England international. You know, he does fit the profile of what United want, but that doesn't mean you pay silly money. £50 million pounds or walk away. That's what I would do with uh, wan Basaka, and we'll see what happens with that. But it's an interesting week for United. And, you know, somebody said to me before I went live, would you be happy with wan Basaka, Issa Diop and Yuri Tillemans before we go on tour? And then we sort a couple of other deals out. And I thought, you know what? I would be quite happy with that. Right back, centre-back and a midfielder in before we go on the pre-season tour. I mean, it's not ideal. I want more, but I'd be happy with that because... Um, it's three key positions. I'm still intrigued with who the right winger is and I still think we need more midfielders than that. But um, I'm not going to look at main stories on Sky Sports when I'm leaving, when I'm live at that, mate, at the end of the day. And I'm not going to start... Zayn Hussein, if we've got a moderator, can we just fuck Zayn Hussein off? Because he's just boring me with his bloody paragraphs of shit, to be honest with you. I, I haven't fallen off a Christmas tree, Zayn. I've been doing this for four years, as has most people in the live comments. So we ain't going to fall for your crappy little titles of... Uh, Go and check BBC out. We've we've signed Bruno Fernandes for seventy five million. You're having a bloody laugh. There's other channels for that. There are mugs out there that will that will believe that. Bid rejected was thirty five million plus fifteen million add ons. Palace want fifty million. Says Charlie Bass. That's old. That's an old story, Charlie. So that if that's what people are talking about, Wan Bissaka. I thought we had something live. Uh, you know, breaking live. Um, yeah, I'd read about that one this morning. Thirty five million plus fifteen million add ons. But last week we'd offered forty million. So. Yeah. You don't know what to believe, do you? 40 million was what we offered for wan -Bissaka. That was a story a week ago. Today, it's now 35 million plus 50 million, 50 million add-ons. So we're going backwards. Good top work, Ed. We've offered, we offered 40. We've now offered 35. Brilliant. That's, that's, that's the sort of, that's the sort of negotiating that I love from my football club. But um, in all seriousness, 50 million pounds, pay it or not. I, I think Crystal Palace are right. Pay the 50 million 
and get the deal done or don't get it done. Simple as. Simple as. Um, talk sport are saying that, that, that there's a 50 million pound bid rejected. And I, you know what? Maybe people are lying in the live comments. Maybe they're not, but it's generating conversation in all seriousness. And my my stance with Wan Bissaka is if if we spend fifty if we offer fifty million and they say no, walk away. It's like Cooley Barley. We want Cooley Barley, but Napoli want one hundred and fifty million. Walk away. You, you you can want a player, but you can't get your pants pulled down. I ain't providing the lube for that Crystal Palace. It's fifty million or we walk. And the players got you know what the players got to force the move as well. This is what I've been saying with Pogba. Will Pogba now force the move? He's already started forcing the move. He's publicly said he wants to go. Has was Wan Bissaka said he publicly wants to go? Has Bruno Fernandez said he publicly wants to go? Has Harry Maguire said he publicly wants to go? You know, all these targets that United apparently have, if any of them said they publicly want to go, Pogba can't wait to say it. You know, Pogba's apparently staying and he's saying it. So it's you do need the help of the player. United can only do so much. If the price is too much, we should say no. But the player could help us out. They really, really could. And um, but interesting, there are other options out there, and it's interesting that United might be looking at other options. I think Issa Diop is really interesting. Uh, I'm actually starting to think. I hope there's something in that deal because I like his height, I like his speed, I like it, the fact that he's only 22. I like the fact that he's Premier League proven. I like the look of that deal. Um, interestingly, um, with regards to Tillemans, 40 million quid, and he's Premier League proven as well, and he's 22. Again, I think. You know, we should be all over deals like that. There are deals that can be done out there. Um, definitely are deals that can be done out there. And I think United need to be looking at that. Um, Pogba training with the juniors for three years. Well, look, you know, if Pogba... then The next stage with Pogba is going to be interesting. But I think we would all agree that what, what cannot happen with the Paul Pogba deal is we cannot put ourselves in a situation where we allow it to run and run and run. If, if it's a dead end, you know, if they get... What they need to do is get hold of Paul Pogba and say, look, what are your intentions, Paul? Are you adamant that you're going or are there ways that we can make you stay? Can we offer you more money in a new contract? If we sign such and such and such and such, will you stay and give it a chance? And if he says he's adamant he's going, you've got to sell him and you've got to do it quick. We can't let it run and run and run. Leicester to become our Liverpool and Southampton, says Mr. Beast. Well, yeah, Liverpool have done very well out of Southampton over the years, haven't they? And I'd love to see United doing that with South, with Leicester. Yeah, we'll take MDD and we'll take um, Madison this year. Next year, we'll take Chilwell and somebody else. Uh, Lozano is going to go to Napoli, says a Toro. I think that will happen. And Icardi, Rashford, Martial and Pogba would be like watching porn, says Macaulay Stevenson. I don't know. I've never watched it. Uh, Coutinho is not coming to Manchester United, Sammy, because out of respect for Liverpool. I love the guy because I don't want him here. Um, would you take Casemiro for Pogba, says Gary Clark? I would, but I don't think we would uh, We would move in for him, to be honest with you. Um we are slow on deals. I mean, somebody just said there it's a disgrace that United have had wan Bissaka and Diop deals rejected. But that is Manchester United. We do and are very slow at doing deals. And it's something I said last night and it does concern me a little bit. I would take a Cardi. I love a Cardi. And I'm not talking about the theme that you put on when it's cold. A Cardi. I mean, a cardigan. I mean, a Cardi. So, yeah. We'll see what happens with that. But uh, look, it was only meant to be a very quick video and we'll see what's going to happen with it. Please do smash a like on the video. We're still going to do an eight o'clock video. I just wanted to go live and clarify the Issa Diop bid because it moved from reports of interest on Saturday from Sky to this afternoon saying that we'd made an official bid and it'd be rejected, which is very similar to what's going on with wan -Bissaka. So you can't say, oh, I believe the, I believe we're negotiating with wan -Bissaka, and then say, but I don't believe we've had an official bid for Diop. They're coming from the same bloody sources. It's coming from Sky. So if you believe the wan -Bissaka thing, you've got to believe the Diop thing, and then you've got to work process through your head. Would you be happy with signing Diop? And for me, yeah, I would. Matter's contract's really interesting. I'm glad somebody just said that before we go off. 90% chance that Matt is going to sign a new contract at Manchester United. I mean, this is just utter nonsense. It really is nonsense. I mean, why are we keeping a player who was crap last season, lost a lot of yard of pace last season, and he's 31? I just think he's his prime player to get rid of, but apparently we're going to try and keep a player like that. But you're going to lose Herrera and Pogba. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Deadwood's meant to be burnt. It's meant to be got rid of. And I think with 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 one matter staying, I just think it's really, really poor. Miss Grandpa getting a contract, says Jonathan Gallagher. Exactly. So, yeah, um, we'll see what happens. But please do smash a like on the video. Sorry for the problems at the start, but we got there in the end. I'll speak to you all at eight o'clock. Get your comments in below about Diop, Tillemans, Matter, um, Pogba. 
wan all of that, and we'll be back again in the studio live at 8 o'clock. But I wanted to test the phone out, and I wanted to talk about Diop, so we did it. Thanks for watching. Speak to you all at 8 o'clock. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new, um, and I'll see you all at 8 o'clock. Thank you, everyone, for watching.